Today we're going to talk about how to compare fractions by finding a common denominator. So for example, I have 2 sixths and 3 fourths, and I need to determine if 2 sixths is greater than 3 fourths or if 2 sixths is less than 3 fourths. So to start, I need to look at my denominators. So I have the denominator 6 and 4. To find a common denominator, I need to think which multiple of 6 and 4 do they have in common. So I'm going to list the multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18, 24. Then I'm going to list the multiples of 4 until I find one that is the same. 4, 8, 12, 16. Now which number do they both have in common? They both share 12. So that means I'm going to rewrite these fractions with their new denominator. I'm going to find an equivalent fraction for each one with the denominator of 12. So I multiplied 6 times 1, 2 to get 12, so 6 times 2. So whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So I also have to do 2 times 2, which is 4. Then I need to look at 3 fourths and find the equivalent fraction. So here I multiplied by 1, 2, 3 to get 4. So I did 4 times 3 equals 12. Whatever I do to the bottom, I need to do to the top. So I need to multiply by 3. So 3 times 3 equals 9. The reason why this works is if we were to draw our shape models for 2 sixths, sixths, I'm going to divide in half, divide that in half, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then same thing for 3 fourths, 1, 2, 3, so 1, 2, 3 fourths and 1, 2 sixths. What I'm doing to these is to decide which number would they have in common if I was to split these up. So if I split this in half, now I have the denominator of 12. And if I split this one into three parts, 1, 2, then this also has 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now that they have a common denominator, it is easy for me to see which one is greater. So they have the same number of parts in their total, but this one only has 4 shaded in. This one would have 9. So 9 twelfths is greater than 4 twelfths. Or I would read this, 4 twelfths is less than 9 twelfths. So another strategy we can use to compare is called butterfly or cross multiplication. And we're going to use it today to check our answer, to make sure that 3 fourths is actually greater than 2 sixths, like we set up here. So we're going to start by circling 6 and 3. So I'm going to take the numerator from this one and the denominator from this one and multiply the two of them. 6 times 3 equals 18. So I'm going to then put the product on top of the numerator. Then I'm going to do the same thing with 2 and 4. So I'll take the numerator from this one and multiply it with the denominator from this one. 4 times 2 equals 8. So then I can look at the numbers on top and see which one is the greater number. 18 is greater than 8, which means 2 sixths is less than 3 fourths. So let's review how we compared 2 sixths and 3 fourths. The first step was to find a common denominator. So I identified the denominators 6 and 4, and then I made their list of multiples list of multiples to find a common denominator. And the number that was common was 12 and 12. Then I created 
equivalent fractions for each of my fractions using the denominator of 12. By multiplying by 2, I got 4 twelfths. By multiplying by 3, I got 9 twelfths. And then I was able to determine 9 twelfths was greater than 4 twelfths. I also was able to check my work with a shape model, and we can clearly see 9 twelfths is greater than 4 twelfths. After I was done, I then checked it with cross multiplication by multiplying 6 times 3 and got 18, and 4 times 2 and got 8. 18 is greater than 8, so 2 sixths is less than 3 fourths.